I'm Joel Santos. I'm a professional photographer and a Canon explorer. I specialize in travel photography and have a strong passion for landscapes, for people, and above all, the way the light draws the special moments I'm always trying to photograph. As a Canon explorer, I'm fortunate to taste some of the most amazing and exciting new products made by Canon. And that's the case with this new EOS 5DS with a mind-blowing 50 megapixel full-frame sensor and a set of features that will really make the difference while shooting on the field. My assignment with this new Canon EOS 5DS was to find and photograph some of the most stunning urban and natural landscapes I could find, especially the ones with lots of fine details. In order to find those special locations, I chose Portugal, my own country, and I drove more than 2,000 kilometers in just seven days to find the perfect light conditions during winter time. When you have such a high-resolution sensor on a camera, of course the first question that comes to the mind of a demanding photographer is what are the compromises? I didn't see compromises. Even regarding noise, dynamic range and speed of operation, everything was about perfect. For example, regarding noise, I've done two demanding experiments while shooting a moonlit coastal landscape. First, I set the ISO to 3200 on a 15 second exposure, and even more demanding, I've done an ultra long exposure, setting the in camera bulb timer to 32 minutes. I was amazed to see that the color rendition was beyond amazing and that the file was completely clean and sharp. Concerning the dynamic range, I believe that the Canon EOS 5DS is state of the art, if not even better. And whenever I needed to record a wider dynamic range, I could easily activate and adjust the in-camera HDR mode. Among all the features, I really would like to highlight the new crop mode, since it allowed me to choose between the 1.3 and 1.6 crop ratios among other options. And for example, during this assignment, I always need to quickly react to the ever-changing lights. And changing lenses would mean I would miss an opportunity. So in this particular case, and most of all, the 1.6 prop mode allowed me to reach further without changing the lens and still keep the amazing 20 megapixel file, or if I wanted to, revert to the 50 megapixel unpropped wall file. Another feature that's really worth mentioning is the in-camera full HD time-lapse video, which is a blessing for a travel photographer like me, because it allows me to show the world changing in a fast and attractive pace. But if I need more control or a different output, then I can always rely on the new customizable interval shooting mode. With a 15 megapixel image sensor, there's no room for camera shake, because it will be quite noticeable if you amplify the image to 100%. So Canon cleverly addressed this matter with the new mirror vibration control system and with the new mirror lockup mode with a customizable shutter delay. Combined, these two features are a must for a travel and landscape photographer because I want every detail to be tech sharp. A final word must go for the live view mode, which I must confess I'm a big fan of and I have no doubt it is the best one out there. This must be the single feature I use the most since it allows me to evaluate the RGB is frames in real time to achieve a perfect exposure, the electronic level and composition reads for a precise framing, and above all, the 16x amplified view for accurate manual focusing. What Canon has achieved with this new EOS 5S is technologically remarkable and unique really raising the bar and creating one more iconic camera that will surely lead the image making around the globe. A 50 megapixel full frame sensor, a stunning image quality, fantastic drive mode and F performance, and a set of new features that are perfect for what I need on the field. Summing all of this, the new EOS 5S will definitely be on my kit bag. Actually, I will have two of them, there's no coming back once you have tried it. That says it all, period.